to the thousands of children that renamed their System32 folder to a PNG, I apologize. But I think I have a solution for you. Not, not exactly for the whole System32, like if you did that you're fucked, but it, I have a solution for the people that want to view their cache folder and browse it and clear it and stuff. Okay, that's enough. The download link is in the description. So press that now and then. Okay, so yeah, that is a few views right there. Do I really like my own video? A lot of people with a lot of opinions. Let's get some light on my face. Okay, I am a huge fan of Discord. Please do not get that twisted. A lot of people were calling me stupid from the last video saying, ah, you don't know what a cache is. I know what a cache is. The thing is, clearly, hundreds of thousands of people didn't. But showing them yielded interesting results. You want facts. Every app that you use on your computer has a cache folder, most likely. The purpose of a cache is to reduce bandwidth, saving money for the company, and make images load quicker. But in my experience, so many people use Discord thinking that when they post something there and delete it, that it's gone and I wanted to share that it isn't. I've built an app that makes it so easy to prevent people from deleting images that they've sent on Discord ever again that you'll never need to worry about that. And here I present to you on a silver platter a solid fuck you to everybody that said it wasn't quite a problem because guess what? I'ma make it a problem. You pretty much can scavenge thousands of images at a time from Discord and view them in a gallery. It's a bit weird uh, and, but I'll, but I will say it's kind of fun to sit there with your friends and look at what's in your cache, if you've got the balls. You can use this app to clear your cache, not just for Discord, but for any application, as well as view it like a gallery, so it's like, <laughs> it's, it's a bit stupid. You're gonna love it though. If anybody takes this whole situation seriously, um, just know that I don't. So we're grabbing the directory of the cache folder and then we're using uh, the JavaScript module FS file system to uh, read the contents of that directory and print it to the console. And as you can see here, this is the contents of my Discord cache folder. If file types does not include result.mime, So if we have the result and the file types does not include, oh no, it didn't work. Jamie, what would you say? What would you do if you saw a child? <laughs> oh shit, that's cool. That's what you would do when you, if you saw a child. <laughs> yeah. Fucking kid walks by, Jamie just. Oh, shit, that's, that's cool. cool. <laughs> shit, that's cool. No, I'm, I'm he's like, what the fuck? Clings to his mom. <laughs> so okay. the cache folder contains all these different file types movie mp4s pngs zip files so every even videos you put in discord are saved in there so when you first open the app it's going to look for the documents folder on your user directory which is where we're going to be moving all of the cached images to so far i've been able to keep the code quite uh simple and concise so this is the uh, internal state of the app some booleans and some basic data the file index is an object where we will store key value pairs of all of the results I try to split everything up evenly into functions the first thing that the app does is uh, run this scan dump function this reads everything that was previously in that dump folder I've chosen a naming scheme for the cache dump folder that will allow us to store the name of the app, the uh, cached item, which is hexadecimal, and the time code. Then when we read that directory, we can extract that data 
and uh, populate our results table. This is the function that scans the app's cache folder. Uh, this is where we get the file metadata and read the mime type, which allows us to figure out the file extensions. Obviously, everything in that cache folder doesn't have a file extension. What this function does is detect that file extension from the mime type, uh, then save that. This is where we generate the file key, and then we copy the file from the cache directory to the dump directory. And we are in business. I bet. Oh, fuck. It, no, how did what just happened? You teleported every single entity on the map to you. Ah. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna call it Cash Monkey. That's such a lot of bad name. Sounds like Cash Money. Yeah. But it's like Cash Monkey because it's like shouldn't really be you know hoarding your cash, you fucking weirdo. But <laughs> you know, monkeys monkey does what monkey does. You know, it's a monkey. <laughs> Clash monkey. I'm at a point now where not only is it loaded in all of the images into the app, but as you load new images, it will hot load them in and convert them into the appropriate file type. And it's not affecting the original file either because it's copying it from the original cache folder into its own dump directory. You can see the range of different file types here as it discovers them. What I could do next is make it so that you can add more applications to watch. I could add in Google Chrome. I could add in any electron based app and have it watch those folders simultaneously. Maybe I could add some filters in here to like sort through the images. <laughs> At this point, this is just stupid. There are 2,479 items loaded into the app right now. Now I need to make it look good. This is my favorite bit. I don't think you need all of the junk that's currently on the main UI. So, if we want to want a sidebar, because it needs settings. I don't look at the settings on the home screen. Yeah, wait, look in your themes. When I process the item, type. Oh, God. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a, uh, a pictures directory in this uh, The file index should be populated by the time this runs. The problem is, I don't it's think launched. it's populated. So, by setting time out without a value, it should push it to the bottom of the cool stack. Oh, right, yeah, because the, the button thing. isn't hooked up the same yet. And now, big red button flushing the dump. Okay. Ah. Uh, it's doing it. Oh, uh, it's trying to delete something that's not doesn't there. Exist. Okay, so yeah, just put a check if it doesn't exist. <laughs> just give it. Just give it. All you need to do is generate a certificate in your certificate manager and then specify the name with bash dash sign. And I need to be in there to do a specific fucking thing that I've tried to do three times. But you were sounding fucking tired, tired and grouchy, my friend. <laughs> Bro, it's 10 a.m. I've been up for 26 hours. There should be no fucking reason this doesn't work. If this doesn't work, it works. Yay! Alright, go break yes! that shit! <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm so tired. We'll continue tomorrow. I sleep. It's uploading! Yep. How many days have we been doing this bite? Three. Three days. Solid. Four, I think, Four. to be honest. Four, Four including Three. the first day I was working on it. It's kind of cool to start something and then finish it just four days later, especially something like an app. Even if the app is quite simple, it's really satisfying. I feel kind of accomplished. Wait, 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 let's go. I... Boom. It's done. Dustin, can you compile it for Windows? Doing it now. Legend. Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. Okay, that's cool.
Just a quick note before we leave, if you download the Windows version of Cash Monkey, it's going to pop up with the little blue uh, Windows Defender thing because we haven't code signed the build. The Mac one is code signed, uh, which just basically means you verify your identity as a developer. I've actually paid $100 for the Windows one, but you have to submit all these other documents. And I've done that. I'm still waiting for them to get back to me. So I don't want to delay this any longer. So I'm just going to put it out. If you want to verify the code safe and there's no viruses in it, the code is all on GitHub. So if you want to contribute, you can do that as well. Again, that GitHub link is in the description. So I hope it works for you and good luck looking through your cache. It's been a really fun video to make and uh, I'll see you next time. Whatever you do, Jamie, do not pick the Discount Adventures Minecraft font. Shut up. <laughs> Please don't pick the Discount Adventures I, Minecraft font. I think font. we should. I think we should pick that one. No, I, it looks like the, it looks like the Indiana Jones font. I'm picking it. I don't see a problem with it. Nah, it's good. It. That's really bad. Don't pick that font. That's yuck. I, I feel like you want us to pick that oh, font. Oh, that looks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like